Hello and welcome to Six Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. This week we take a closer look at point of care testing and find out whether it could play a bigger role in general practice. Point of care testing has recently been trialled across Australian general practices and found to be very convenient for patients but not always cost effective. Since then, an Australian point of care practitioners network has been set up to provide education support through a website to doctors who are wanting to introduce it into their practice. So what's the next step in bringing point of care testing into general practice? Well, it was a hot topic at a clinical biochemist conference in Sydney last week, and we spoke to one of the key people behind the new network, biochemist Dr Andrew Sinjin, to find out more about it. If you live in remote communities, your access to the, the, the central pathology testing service is not always, uh, is clearly not as good as it can be in the city. Um, so I think that's the real value. Uh, and you're talking in many cases of quite long distances that the patient might have to go to the practice, let alone go to a collection centre in order to get their blood collected. So I think for those patients and for those general practitioners, point of care testing is a, is a real advantage. So for instance, uh, they're already doing INR testing uh, on many of their patients uh, and to be able to provide the INR result at the time of the consultation for the patient, uh, it's much more convenient for the patient, they don't have to go off to another laboratory uh, and in, in terms of providing all the information that the GP needs at the time of consult consultation uh, makes it a much easier process for him to optimise the patient's care. While GPs do want to do this testing, and many are, in order to optimise their patient's care, they're not receiving any uh, re reimbursement through Medicare at the moment. But, you know, there are good grounds to do this testing, and we're hopeful that this testing may be reimbursed in the future, as are, uh, as are clearly the general, general practitioners. One of the, the, uh, the obstacles we've got here is the cost of devices, the actual physical, co or the, the cost of the actual physical device, is more expensive when you do a single test in point of care compared to the cost of the test in the central laboratory. But in the actual trial, um, only one test was more cost effective than central laboratory testing. And that's probably uh, something we have to think through a little more, and I suspect the government's thinking about that. But one of the purposes of the APPN network is we believe we can, by using this web-based model, rather than the rather intensive personal uh, contact training that we used in the trial, we can start to reduce the costs of providing point-of-care testing. Well, it sounds like point-of-care testing could be beneficial for general practice, but it may not take off until the government agrees to provide a Medicare rebate for the service. I'm Gemma Collins. See you next week.